we can think about the semaphore class as some sort of um, template for a manager that holds permissions permissions it can grant to threads for completing specific code segment so an object instantiated of the semaphore class is in fact a kind of a permissions manager permissions manager and in this code sample the permission manager meaning this specific semaphore object holds three permissions if we go over this code sample we can see a loop that um, create 10 uh, threads each one of these threads tries to execute the do something method when the do something method is executed each one of the threads that tries to execute it reach this line where the method wait1 is called on our semaphore object the meaning of calling the wait1 method is in fact asking the semaphore object for a permission to continue the semaphore object in our code has, a th has three permissions so if a specific thread asking is asking for a permission and the semaphore object doesn't have any available permission to, to grant that thread simply waits till a permission is available when the release method is called by a specific thread that thread simply gives back the permission it received to the semaphore object so only when threads complete this code and release the permissions they add those threads that are waiting can get a permission and continue with their execution let's see how does it work you can see according to the output that at any given time there is a maximum of three threads holding a permission and only when a thread completes the code the code segment protected by our semaphore object it returns back the permission it adds and then another thread can get that permission and move forward